not knowing how we'll get through this day. But holding on to faith, you know best. Cause nothing can catch you by surprise. You got this. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, we give God the glory this morning. Hallelujah. For this is the day that the Lord has made. Hallelujah. And we ought to rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. You can just lift your hands and worship God this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Speak good things of your Father. Hallelujah. Tell him how much you love him. Tell him how much he means to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It feels good to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just to feel God's presence. Hallelujah. Just to feel His glory. Hallelujah. Just to feel His anointing, His power. Hallelujah. Just to feel His spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want to welcome you. Hallelujah. To Riverview Community Church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for everybody tuning in on Facebook Live, via YouTube. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you for joining us one more time. Hallelujah. God, we give you glory this morning. Hallelujah. God, we just come with grateful hearts, God. Because last night could have been our last night, God. Hallelujah. But you saw fit, God, to let us see another day, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, for your healing power, God. Hallelujah. Your restorative power, God. Hallelujah. We bless your name this morning, God. We thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With my hands lifted up.
solution, God, to our problems, God. Thank you, God, for being our answer, God, to all of our questions, God. Thank you for just being God. Thank you, Lord. God, we love you so much, God. We worship your holy name, God. We bless you, God, and we magnify you, God. We exalt you, God. We lift your name on God, God. Because we know there is no other God before you, oh God. No one that can compare to you, God. No one that can come close to you. Yeah, yeah. We just want to tell you thank you, God. Thank you, God, for healing our bodies, God. Thank you, God, for trying about cancer cells, God. Thank you, God, for regulating our sugar, God. Thank you, God, for regulating our blood pressure, God. We thank you, oh God, for healing us, God, from the inside out, God. We thank you, God, for us not looking like God, what we have been through, God. We thank you, oh God, for washing us clean, God. We thank you, God, for making us new, God. We thank you, God, for transforming our minds, God, and our hearts, God. We thank you, God, for who you are and the things that you've done, God. We ask you, God, to just keep your hand on us, God. Keep leading and guiding us, God, into all truth, God. Thank you for never letting us go, God. Thank you for being our light, God. Thank you for being our God, God. Thank you for being our instructor, God. Thank you, God, for never leaving us behind, God. Thank you, God, that when we ask God in your name, God, that it shall be given unto us, God, according to your will, God. Yes, Lord. Thank you, God. We just come with grateful hearts this morning, God, because it could have been another way, God. Hallelujah. But we thank you, God, for keeping us up, God. Hallelujah. For wrapping your arms around us, oh God. For letting us know, God, that you love us, oh God, and that you care about us, God. We thank you, God. Thank we thank you, God, for sending your son, Jesus, God. The ultimate sacrifice, God, for sending your beloved son, God, to die on the cross for us, oh God, to save us from our sins, God. God, we thank you, oh God, that the blood that he shed, God, the blood that cleanses us, God, the blood that washes us clean, God, the blood that has redeemed us, God, hallelujah, the blood that has set us free, God, the blood that has broken all the shackles, God, hallelujah, the blood that has freed us, God, we thank you, God, 
that we're free, God. Hallelujah. Free from worry, God. Free from pain, God. Free from depression, God. Free from feeling of self-worthlessness, God. Free from feeling lonely, God. We thank you, God, that we're free, God. Hallelujah. Free to call upon your name, God. Free to give your name glory, God. Free to lift our hands, God. Free to lift our voices, God. Hallelujah. To praise your name, God. You're so good to us, God. You're so kind and so faithful to us, God. We just thank you, God. God, we ask you, oh God, to just pour your blessing and your spirit out, oh God, on these, your people, God. Heal them like they need to be healed, God. Restore them like they need to be restored, God. Break them, God, like they need to be broken, God. Mend them like they need to be mended, God. God, we thank you, God, and we bless you, God. We thank you for this spot of ground, God, that we call Riverview Community Church, God. Thank you for, God, doing what you're doing, God. Hallelujah. Even behind the scenes, God, you're still working, God. We thank you, God. We bless your name. And we don't take it for granted, God. We thank you, God. Hallelujah. For just the increase that we see now, God. We thank you, God, and we bless your name, God. We thank you for the shepherd, God, that labors in this house, God. We thank you for his life, God. We thank you for his diligence, God. We thank you for his patience, God. Hallelujah. We thank you for his obedience, God. Hallelujah. Touch him now. God, if he brings the word later, God, touch him now, God. Hallelujah. Wrap your loving arms around him, God. Pour out your power, God. Pour out your glory, God. Pour out your spirit on him, God. Bless his wife, God. Bless his entire family, God. We thank you, God, for who you are, God. We thank you, God, that we can see the manifestations, God. Hallelujah. We bless your name and we honor you today, God. These and all of the things we ask our darling son, Jesus' name, we thank God and we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.
we thank God again for another Sunday that he has blessed us to get up out of our beds, to make it to his church, or maybe to roll over on the side of the bed and to join in and the first worship. Amen. We thank God again today for what he has done, what he is doing, and what he has promised that he will do. Oh, tell yourself, this is the day that the Lord has made. Oh, come on, say it with me. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. I will be glad in it. No matter what I'm going through. No matter what my bills look like. No matter what the situation looks like. He has been better to us than we've been to ourselves. And we ought to tell him thank you this morning. Tell God thank you this morning. Tell him thank you. Thank you for bringing me another week. Thank you. I am taking care of me and protected me from danger seen and unseen, as my mama used to say. Hallelujah. We thank God again for each of you. We welcome you to the view. Hit that like button. Hit that share button. Let somebody know that we are on. Tell somebody again that God is on the Facebook, on YouTube. He's in. He's present right now. Amen. Amen. We thank God again for each of you. We thank God for what he is doing. God is doing some amazing things. Some amazing things. He's blessing us with some amazing blessings. And over and over again, God keeps on pouring it out, pouring it out. Today is day 13 of our corporate fast. That's right. Day 13. We got eight days to go. Amen. 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 But in the midst of it, God is doing some amazing things. I've seen God do some healing. I've seen God do some open up some opportunities. He's making a way for some folks. He's doing some incredible things. And I pray that you are seeing results spiritually, physically, and emotionally. I pray you feel God's power and his presence dwelling with you. It's not just a diet. It's not just a fast. But we're fasting and praying. We're expecting and believing God to do abundantly more than we can ask, think, or imagine. And the power working in us. Hallelujah. And so I pray you feel this power. We're praying for those who are sick today and those who are recovering and those who are born in the loss of loved ones and those who are just going through difficult times. Today, again, we, we know that there's a lot going on in the world. There's a possibility of a war. There's a possibility of of, of folks losing benefits. There's possibilities all around us of things negative happen. But I want you to know there's also great opportunities. That when over somebody here, there's great opportunities. Whenever again we find ourselves in a mess, I want you to know that our God is sitting high and saying, when they don't call on me, when my people go humble themselves and pray, when are they going to seek my face? When are they going to turn expecting the blessing. Yeah. Amen. 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 Yeah. We thank God. <clears throat> Again, I hadn't coughed until I got up here. Amen. 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 We thank God again for what he is doing and we're so excited. Um, as I mentioned in our Bible study the other night again about 
how God again is blessing us uh, with yeah. the mission board is coming on February the 25th and 26th. Yay. Yay. Blessing us with all kinds of good stuff that's gonna blow your mind. I, I mean, it's it's already he's already blown my mind. We we've gone from a warehouse outside. <laughs> Today is our Serve Sunday, and we are so excited. Uh, again, uh, we, we want to be a church that, that is not just meeting in these four walls, but again, that will go beyond yeah. these four walls. And so today is our Serve Sunday, and so um, because of the pandemic, and because of COVID, and because we want to be responsible, we have, uh, again, uh, a safe way of us to be able to be a blessing. Amen. to God's people. Yeah. And it's Maritan, Maritan. Maritan that we're going to be blessing today. Amen. Amen. So we thank Sister Bessie, Sister Diane for getting the cards, and Amen. Sister Garrett, who's our, our, our new member again. Yeah. Amen. So glad to have her again for organizing this service project. And so immediately following the service, we're going to get our hands dirty and we're going to do something to bless God's people. I want to thank you all for uh, how you faithfully support us over and over again, every week again. Again, I, I didn't want to go too deep into the mission board thing because, again, there's so much I just don't, I just can't tell you all. Uh, I'm not bragging, I'm just telling the facts that God, again, just, just when you, I mean, he just keeps on blessing us. Amen. You, you, you got to come, come and see it. Come and see it again for yourself. I mean, blessing us. We, we, we just went through renovating the inside and have the sanctuary complete. But now he's getting ready to do the outside. From striping the parking lot to landscape to decks to all kinds of crazy stuff. New air conditioner and heating unit that we need in the sanctuary. Amen. 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 Blessing us. Oh, a brand new fence around the building. <laughs> Blessing us again Amen. with more Amen. than we could ever imagine. Amen. Amen. So again, I'm, I'm grateful again for how people give. Walked in this morning, Brother Tier, who's faithful again. So, oh, here's your new tablet. And so he's faithful, and we're thank we're grateful again that you are faithfully supporting the view with your ties, your offering, your support. There are three ways you can give. You can give via go to our website that is rcc www.rccview.org, or you can, you can click on the give button. You can give via PayPal. You can give via Cash App. That's dollar sign rcc the view dollar sign rcc the view, or you may mail your gift. To Riverview Community Church, P.O. Box 613161. P.O. Box 613163, rather, Memphis, Tennessee, 38101. Amen. 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 As you prepare your gift, for those who are here again, you can give your gift now or you can give it on your way out. Yeah. And those who are watching, go ahead and Click that give button and give. The Bible says we should never come before the Lord empty handed. Yeah, yeah. That we should always have a gift in our hand. And so I pray again, if you haven't given already, if you haven't given your tithes, if you haven't given your offering, if you haven't blessed God again with the gift, that you would do it today. Yeah, yeah. Amen, amen. Amen. We thank God again um, for all of you and what you do. Let's pray. God, we thank you now for your gifts. Yeah that you've given us. Thank you for how you trust us with your gifts, God. With, with a job, God, you've blessed us with. You've given us resources, God, that 
we can't even begin to say thank you for it. No matter how much we are making, no matter how, God, you take what we have and you make it work for our good. God. We thank you for that, God. God, we thank you that you have blessed us and you entrust us with your blessings. Help us again to be good stewards. All you ask us to give is a tenth. God, help us to be obedient and to do that. And God, we thank you for those who give their gifts, God, who are faithful in giving to this ministry. Those who are not members, God, who continue to sow seeds. God, I pray right now that you pour out blessings that they won't have room enough to receive. God, open up your windows like you're saying, God. Just pour it out on them, God. Let it overflow, God. And God, we give you glory and honor for what you've done, what you're doing, what you're about to do. Bless each one of us accordingly. In Jesus' name we pray. People, God, say amen. 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 So Minister Brown is going to come back, and the band is going to come back, and they're going to bless us, and I'll be back with this word. Go to 1 Samuel, 1 Samuel chapter 17. 1 Samuel chapter 17. And we are going to again preach from this subject, how to fight your giants. Yes, yes. How to fight your giants. Amen. Amen.
ministry to us through song. Yes, God, we just pray now as the ground has been cultivated and broken, that you would now, God, work on us, God. Speak to us. Speak through us. Accomplish, God, in us which you have ordained to be done. Do it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Bless us, God, right now with your word, God. Help us again, God, to hear what you're saying. Not just in the physical, but in the spirit, God. Do it now in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 First Samuel chapter 17. Go with me to verse 44. We're going to deal. Don't close your Bible because we jump around. But if you would, in honor of the word, stand with us. Verse 44 says, And the Philistine said to David, Come to me, and I will give thy flesh unto the fowls of the air and to the beast of the field. Then said David to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with the sword and with the spear and with the shield, but I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel whom thou hast defied. This day will the Lord deliver thee into my hand, and I will smite thee and take thine head from thee, and I will give the carcasses of the host of the Philistines this day unto the fowls of the air, unto the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel, and all the assembly shall know that the Lord saveth not with sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord's and he will give you into our hands. And it came to pass when the Philistine arose and came and drew nigh to meet David, that David hasted and ran toward the army to meet the Philistine. And David put his hand in his bag, took thence a stone, and slang it and smote the Philistine in his forehead that the stone sunk into his forehead and he fell upon his face to the earth. So David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling and with a stone and smote the Philistine and slew him. But there was no sword in the hand of David. Therefore David ran and stood upon the Philistine and took his sword and drew it out of the sheath thereof and slew him and cut off his head therewith. And when the Philistines saw their champion was dead, they fled. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The word of God for the people of God. Yeah. Blessed be the word. Amen. You may be seated. How to fight your giants. In our text today, we find the boy David. He is on what he and his father thought was a temporary reassignment. Come on, come on. David's father, Jesse, the Aphrodite, is from the city of Bethlehem, the hometown of the future king, Jesus. Jesse sends David down to the valley of Elah to deliver a care package, if you will, to his three older brothers who are in Israel's army. They have been there for more than 40 days and Jesse wants to make sure that the boys are okay. Jesse had to be led by the spirit to do this because David had four older brothers in him. He was the youngest of eight. And so he, he, uh, his father sends him to the battle zone. Normally, you don't send your baby boy into yeah, yeah. a war zone. But David, Jesse's baby boy, 
He didn't mind. He's eager. As a matter of fact, he's excited and happy to go where the fighting is happening. Mm -hmm. This teenager, if you will, uh, young people, if you're listening, is so excited that he gets up early in the morning to go down to the Valley of Eli. And when David gets there, he finds the Israeli army scared and afraid to fight. Yeah, yeah. They have seen the giant of the Philistines whose name was Goliath. Goliath was nine feet tall. He wore a bronze helmet, 200 pound coat of mail that is thin fish uh, scale shaped pieces of metal. In other words, he had on an arrow crew coat, if you will. He had uh, bronze leggings on, a, a bronze javelin with a 25-pound uh, iron spearhead. He was packing, y'all, yeah, yeah. and ready for war. Goliath, he was a bad boy, but he couldn't match God. Verse 24 says, when the Israeli soldiers saw Goliath, they began to run for their lives. Yeah. They were afraid. They, they, they said, did you see him? They, they were intimidated by the size of this Philistine. Yeah, yeah. They were amazed at the weapons and artillery that he carried. So they ran back mm. to a safe place yeah. in the valley. I just wonder if I have anybody in here with me who can relate to how these boys must have felt. Yeah. Uh, maybe you have not, not seen a giant Philistine. But maybe you have seen some other types of giants yeah, in your yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you've seen the giant of, un, of, of an unfair employer mm -hmm. All right. yeah. or a teacher. Yeah. The giant of unemployment. Amen. The giant of debt and too little money to pay your bills. Yeah. The giant of repossession and foreclosure and bankruptcy. The giant of prejudice and racism yeah. and sexism yeah. and classism. Yeah. The giant of immorality, yeah. adultery, fornication, homosexuality. The giant yeah. of sickness. Yeah. The giant of substance abuse and addiction. Yeah. The giant of broken relationships yeah. and divorce. The giant of parenting. Yeah. The giant of this and that. There's some things in life that will make you back up and make you retreat. Yeah. Make, make you go and hide in a safe place. Yeah. There's some things in life that will make you run yeah. and find safety. Wow. Some of you have been running from giants already this year. You, you ran from them this week and you couldn't wait to run into God's house yeah. one more time for yeah. safety. Tell your, 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 tell your neighbor it's a good place to be. Yeah, it's a good place to be. Yeah, today I, I want to look out of this text a few things that David does that will help us to fight our giants. First thing that David does is he, he, he understands that when you're in a fight, before you swing, before you do anything, you need to have a plan. You need to size up the enemy. He sizes up the enemy. He looks at this giant, not at his, at his physical attributes, but at his purpose. Yeah. Somebody say he had a purpose. He had a purpose. Yeah, he had a purpose. He saw this giant as a man, a man who was unclean, a man who was evil, a man who would dare challenge the army of God. Yeah, yeah he had a purpose. A man who thought himself greater than God's army. Yeah. Verse 26, David says, who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he would defy, that he would challenge, that he would think that he can beat the armies of the living yeah. God. Yeah. David understood that this giant was an evil, demonic force. David understood that this was Satan's way of attacking God. And you do know that Satan wants to be God, yeah, yeah. but he cannot be God. As a matter of fact, Isaiah 14 and 12, reading when you get a chance, says that Satan and a group of angels were kicked out of heaven yeah. because they tried to take over heaven. Child of God, please understand that the attack is not against you. 
but it's against God. Yeah, yeah. I'll say that one more time. The attack that you are going through is not against you, but it's against God. Yeah, yeah David gets angry because he cannot believe that the enemy has the audacity and the arrogance to threaten to destroy the people of God. Oh, we ought to get angry like David. When the enemy attacks the body of Christ. I'll say that one more time. We ought to get angry. Like David. When the enemy attacks the body of Christ. We need to pray for our leaders. We need to pray for the leaders in the church. Those that God has elevated. We need to understand that it doesn't take much uh, to bring us down. But that's why the church must pray and encourage and uplift their, their leaders, their pastors, those who have been given the charge and who have been called by God to serve. All of us, we have the ability to fall. We all, again, have a day when we can go through something that will cause us to fall. But I want you to know again, that's why God has called us again to support one another, to encourage one another, to pray for one another. We need to pray for Mike Todd. I said, yeah, we need to pray for Mike Todd. I love him. I love his book. As a matter of fact, we're reading this book. But, but again, there are folks who are talking about him instead of praying for him. And a lot of my church folks who are talking about him instead of praying for him. We need to pray for them and not uh, judge them and drag their names in the mud, but we need to lift them up. Because your day of attack is coming. And, and you ought to do unto others as you would have them to do unto you. The Bible says whatsoever you sow, that you're going to reap. The church is under attack. Satan is the author and the creator of the chaos and the confusion that is going on in the world. He doesn't want to see folks transform. He doesn't want people again to be renewed. He doesn't want people to come to Christ. That's why again he causes, he runs to and fro searching throughout the earth looking to who he can devour. He wants to send men. He wants to send women. He wants to send boys and girls away from the church, away from the ark of safety. He does not want them saved. He does not want them to be redeemed. He wants to destroy them. Yeah, David, he got angry. Yeah. And he sized them up. He checked out his motive. And he looked at what Satan was trying to do. Yeah, you need to know that when you're in a fight, Satan is on the other side. You need to know again what he's trying to do. Remember, secondly, uh, he, he says that when you're in a fight, I hear God saying that you need to remember who's with you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Remember who is with you. Yeah. Ask your neighbor who you with. Yeah, yeah. yeah David said to Saul in verse 31, 37, uh, he, he tells him, he says, when I was taking care of my daddy's sheep, yeah. uh, a bear came and a, a lion came, and each time I destroyed the enemy and saved the sheep. If I can just uh, insert in here just some modern vernacular for you, I believe David said, uh, 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 he doesn't know who he's really messing with. Yeah. I'm from South Memphis. Yeah. I'm from South Bethlehem. He better ask somebody. Yeah. I'm down with God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we are a chosen generation. Yeah. I'm a part of a royal priesthood. Yeah. I'm a peculiar person. Yeah. yeah, look at your neighbor and tell them, stop running. Stop running. And remember who you're with. Yeah, yeah. Stop, stop retreating and remember who you're with. Look at your other name and tell them we are more than conquerors. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. God hasn't given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Yeah, you've got to remember what you've already accomplished with the Lord. You've got to remember the victories that you've already won, how he healed you, how he provided for you. How he protected you. How he brought you out. How he delivered you. How he took you over the mountain. Got you out of the mountain. How he wrapped his arms of love around you. And gave you another chance. How dare the enemy. Again, try to cause you. To retreat. 
when you got God Almighty by your side. Listen, David knew he had some haters too and some folks who didn't believe that he was able to take out the giant. He knew he had some folks who didn't want to see him blessed, but he kept on going anyway. And you're going to have to... Uh, you, you, you're going to have people, rather, to come into your life to try to persuade you to do things differently. But Satan will send, as a matter of fact, he'll send people to you to talk you out of your blessing. Yeah. That it don't take all that. You, you ain't got no business doing it. You need to do it like this. You need to, this is the way we do it. No, do it however God told you to do it. Yeah. Yeah. And remember again who you're with. You got to remember where your power comes from. You got to remember Ephesians three twenty. Now unto Him who is able to do more than we can ask, that we can think, or according to the power that worketh, that worketh in us. Hallelujah. Third thing David shows us here in this text is that uh, we need to use the gift. We need to use the gift that God has given us. Use the gift that God has given you. Use the gift that God has given you. Yeah. Not somebody else's gift. Yeah. Use your gift. Yeah. Use, the gift Use the gift that God has given you. Yeah. Yeah. Saul was trying to help David. He saw this little puny boy. He didn't know uh, David's uh, uh, resume. He didn't know again about his dossier. He didn't know again who he was. But 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 David told me I've been on the other side of, of the mountain. Yeah. I've been fighting bears and lions. I've been I've been taking care of sheep and, and shepherding. But I got some skills yeah. that you don't know about. And so I was trying to help him. He said, let, let me give you some armor at least, so that when you go out here and you fight this giant. That you will have something to protect your body. Yeah. You will have at least a spear in your hand or a sword in your hand. Uh, uh, but 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 he, he gave him his weaponry. Uh, but David had not proved himself with these weapons, so he took it off. He said, "I I can't wear this. Yeah. It's, it's in my way. I, yeah. I, I, I need to be loose. I need to be able to do it like I do it." Yeah. Yeah. David went out with what he had and what he knew. And he had a slingshot yeah. in his hand yeah. and five smooth stones yeah. in his bag. Yeah. David knew how to work his slingshot. Yeah. Yeah. And God has given you a gift. You need to know again how to work your gift. Yeah. You need to know again that, that can't nobody do it like you do it. Yeah. You need to remember again that when you got God on your side, yeah. Yeah. You got, you're using your gift. That you are at your uh, at, at the top of the game. You at you at your very best when you use your gift for His glory. God does not place us in a battle that we're not able to fight. I'll say that one more time. God does not place us in a battle that we're not able to fight. He does not position us to do things that we're not capable of doing. Yeah, yeah, oh, I yeah. wish I, somebody would grab yeah, that today and yeah. place it in their spirit and keep it in their spirit. God, again, has the thing you're going through, it is not an accident to God. Yeah, yeah. It is not happenstance. Yeah. But he's been preparing you and getting you ready like he did David. David, again, was on the backside. He didn't know, again, that fighting a, a lion or fight, fighting a bear was going to prepare him. For this giant. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Look at your neighbor again and tell them, use what you got. Use what you got. Yeah, it, it, it may not look like much to someone else, but just use what you got. Wind up your little raggedy rag. Yeah. And use it for the glory of God. You will be surprised. You will be amazed. You will be astonished at what God can do if you just make up your mind that I'm going to use what I got. Stop trying to do it like others. Trust and stop trying to be pretty with it and just use what you got. What worked for others yeah. may not work yeah. for you, but just use what God has given you. Tell your neighbor, use what you got. Use what you got. But don't forget, you're not alone. You're not alone. Don't forget that the battle is not yours. Yeah. Yeah. Don't forget that he will provide you everything that you need. He'll give you the strength. He'll give you the anointing. He'll give you the power to take just that little gift that you get and just wrap it up in your slingshot and just do your best. Do your best. Do your best. And throw it. Throw your weight on it as they say. And he'll give you a victory. And it is he who gives us 
power, authority to crush the enemy. And without him, you can do nothing. Finally, the, in the text, I, 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 I heard God say that David, in his fighting the giant, took what he had and he began running with it. <laughs> he took what he had and he began running with it. He took what he had and he began running with it. He didn't start running away. He started running toward the enemy. I just want to tell somebody in here today to start running. Start running. You, you've, been, you've been stuck, not moving for too long. You, you've just been standing, waiting for somebody to come help you. Start running. Stop fleeing the scene. Stop throwing in the towel. Stop allowing your giant to get the best of you. Stop allowing the giant to win. Start running. David started running. He started running toward his enemy. He, 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 he played some aggressive offense, Joe. He, he played some aggressive offense on the court with, with the giant. Yeah. Catching the, the, the giant off guard. Yeah. He ran to him when he wasn't expecting him to run. Yeah. He, he, he thought he was going to be like the other boys in the army, that he was going to retreat to safety. But David decided, I'm running. In the name of our God. And he wound up his slingshot with one smooth stone while he was again in motion. He had his again his aggressive move on. And while he was flowing like a like a self uh, a Steph Perry type of shot, he was in the flow. And he let that rock go. And with the Holy Ghost and the anointing yeah, on David yeah, yeah. and that one spoon yeah. stone yeah. says that it struck the lion yeah. right in the center of his head, yeah. knocked him unconscious, yeah. and David ran yeah. and stood upon Goliath, yeah. took Goliath's sword and cut his head off. Yeah. Tell your neighbor that giants will fall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you keep running, yeah. giants will yeah. fall. Yeah, yeah, we just have to learn how to fight. Size up your giant. Remember who you're with. Use what you have and keep on running. I like the fact that, that David, he, he was so confident that, that he was going to win. That he, he, he said, you know what? If this one smooth stone don't work, I got four more. He was determined that you're going down today. If the first one don't work, I got another one. I got another one, and another one, and another one. Yeah, we need to have that kind of mindset. That if it don't work the first time, I'm not giving up. I'm going to keep on throwing. I'm going to keep on fighting. I'm going to keep on trying until God shows up and takes it out. Well, this was David's giant. But I heard over in Luke chapter 22, verse 30. Uh, 9 through 44 about a boy named Jesus who had roots in the town of Bethlehem. One day in a garden, he fought the giant of a bitter cup. He prayed and prayed and prayed to the Father to remove the giant of a cup. But God did not remove 
was his secret sauce. That the power belongs to him. It belongs to him. It belongs to him. So whatever you're battling today, I just want to remind you again that you can fight your giant. You can handle it. God has prepared you. Yeah. All that you've been going through. Yeah. You may not understand why. Why am I going through this? Why did I have to go through that? Why did I have to deal with this? God says, I'm getting you ready for your next giant. Yeah. You, you bought some already, but you got some more that are coming. Yeah. But you're going to perfect this thing. Yeah. Like David. You're going to learn again that if he brought me through this, he'll bring me through that. Yeah. David would go on to pen these words that the Lord is my light yeah. and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Yeah. The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though a host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. The war should rise against me. In this will I be confident. In this will I be confident. In this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, and that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide in his pavilion, in the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me, and he shall set me upon a rock. God is establishing you today so that you can stand on a rock. And that rock is Jesus. He again gives you the ability to be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. So cheer up my brother. Cheer up my sister. Lift up your head. Oh, you can. Understand again that he again is the lifter. He's the one again who gives you the power. He's the one again who gives you the authority. He's the one who gives you the anointing to do all things but fail. Today I wish you would make a conscious decision. Make him Lord of your life. Allow him to be king. Allow him to rule and reign. Life will never be the same. Amen. Doesn't mean you won't have some giants, but it will never be the same. Yeah, amen. Make a conscious decision. Come down the virtual aisle today. Yeah. Come down the live aisle today. Amen. Give your life to God. Amen. And know again that He has His arms open wide. Oh, yeah. And He'll receive you. Amen. God, we thank you again for my brother, my sister who's making a conscious decision right now. Help them again to make a wise choice. And that is to accept you as Lord. Turn it around for them, God, whatever they're going through. Help them again to see that you're right there with them. You forgive them. You've saved them. You're willing again to aid them. God, help them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you the glory and honor. As Minister Brown comes down to sing, we ask you again to make that conscious decision. You can go to our go to the chat and just say, hey, I want to be saved. Just put an email address and we will reach out to you. Or you can go to our website www.rccreview.org Click the join button. We would love 
again for you to be a part of Riverview Community Church. Amen. Amen.
down to this place today. We pray again that you've been blessed again by the anointing and the spirit of God that is in this place. And I pray that you felt it at your house. I pray again that you felt it in your bed. Again, remember, we walk by faith and not by sight. Have a blessed week. Go again. Remember, you can fight the giant. Hallelujah. God bless.